Backpacking in India is insane, and by insane I mean wonderful. You'll travel thousands of miles across India by train and bus. You'll crave masala, chai, naan, and curry, and you'll become desensitized to honking horns, but the pollution will forever disgust you. As one of the cheapest places to travel, India tops a list of most budget backpackers. In this video, I'm going to give you an in-depth look into my expenses during my five weeks in India, as well as some of my best budget travel tips. During my five weeks in India, I spent just $1,072. This averages out to be just $29.80 per day. Since I tracked every single transaction during my India trip on a spreadsheet, I crunched some numbers and found some really cool insights that I want to share with you. First of all, over a third of my transactions were less than $1. From a 31 cent tuk-tuk ride in Jaipur to an 81 cent Uber ride in Delhi, transportation is seriously cheap in India. As you can see here, a huge chunk of my transportation costs were trains and buses, which on average cost me less than $12 per trip. Shorter distance transportation like taxis, Ubers, and rickshaws make up the other half of my transportation expenses. Now a great way to save money when traveling anywhere really is to take overnight buses and trains when available. Not only will you wake up at your destination, but you don't have to pay for lodging that night. I did this a total of seven times in India, and in my opinion, if you had the option, overnight trains are a much more enjoyable experience. That being said, here are some basic train tips for India. Although sleeper class is cheaper, I will say that 3 AC class or above is a must when traveling by overnight train. I tried sleeper class round trip from Delhi to Varanasi and it wasn't nearly as enjoyable because there's no air conditioning and blankets and pillows are not provided. Anyway, unless you're on a shoestring budget, you might not even need to save on lodging costs since hostels are cheap to begin with. Pretty much all of my hostels were less than $10 a night. And in fact, my cheapest lodging was at the Mustache Hostel in Jaisalmer, where I paid just $1.95 and got a six bed dorm room to myself. On average, I spent just $7.37 per night on hostels. Now, other than overnight transportation, one night in an Airbnb, which I got for free with a credit, and hostels, the only other lodging that I paid for was part of an overnight camel safari. For the low, low cost of $34, I rode a camel into the desert of Jaisalmer, enjoyed four freshly cooked meals, and slept under the stars. I wish I was vlogging back then because it was such a cool experience, but this is all I have to show you. If you're keeping track so far, I spent about $275 on transportation and $200 on lodging. Well, what about food? During my five weeks in India, I spent $343 on food. This number includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, water, and drinks. When you average this out, I spent less than $10 per day on food. The next category is tourism-related activities. This includes the camel trip that I just mentioned, amongst other things like a tiger safari in Ranthambhur, entry into various temples, mosques, and forts, a boat trip in the Ganges River, and of course, entry into the truly stunning Taj Mahal. In total, I spent just over $200 on things like this. Finally, the miscellaneous category. This includes non-food stuff like hand sanitizer, a SIM card, toilet paper, and laundry. For this category, I spent $56 over my five weeks in India. So in total, here is an overview of my India expenses. While I spent the most on food, it really didn't cost me that much at all. In fact, my rent alone back home in the US cost me more than my entire India trip. Now, I definitely made my fair share of mistakes and spent more than I should have at times, especially on a $30 all-you-can-eat breakfast at the Taj Mahal Hotel in Delhi, but that's all part of traveling. I want you to use the information in this video as a reference so you can know what to expect when you go to India. For an in-depth guide and itinerary from my trip, check out my Backpacking India blog post on TonyTravels.com, which I'll have linked below. If you found this video valuable, definitely subscribe for more videos like this, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.